What's up, people? How's it going? This is Bharat, and welcome back to yet another video. We are continuing on the Python Skiwi series. So, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use the file chooser uh, widget, or basically, you can call it as an icon or layout. So, you'll be using the file chooser to go through the file system and pick a file and find when this file was last created. So, basically, that's going to be the target for us with this video. So, let's get this video started straight away. All right, so as usual, you need a couple of things for this thing to work. You need to have Python installed in your system. At the same time, you also have to have the Kiwi installed in your system. And I'm not going to go over all of those things as you've already covered in basics. So first thing, let's go here and start creating a new file. I'm going to be calling this as the, um, probably call it as uh, main.py because this is going to be the main file that you're going to run. So the first thing you're going to need is import Kiwi. And also we need from Kiwi.app, we also need all the other things to be uh, in, uh, imported. Let me go ahead and quickly do that. We need from uix.box layout we need the box layout all right so these are the basic three main things that we need for now for ui to work first of all so let's go ahead and start creating the class as well at the same time i'm going to be creating a class called as probably file chooser and i'm going to be narrating the box layout and i'll tell you what i'm going to do inside it exactly but for now let's comment it out and exit it and what we're going to do next is go ahead and create our main all right, so once we have uh, the file chooser created, time to run or uh, create our uh, file app, which is going to be the class that is going to be the uh, entry point for this entire application. Let's inherit the app and override the build method. Uh, probably this is going to be what is going to call the file chooser. So all of these are template things, right? We already do it almost on all uh, on every Kiwi application. So also time to run the Kiwi application through the run method. All right, so the template is created and uh, we have basic few things already here. And uh, let's go and start writing our logic into the KV file. Now, we have seen few videos in the past where I have talked about KV file in detail. I've showed you guys how to use that and all of those sorts. So like I said, there's going to be a little bit of advanced concepts involving uh, KB file and how you're going to use a uh, few complex uh, uh, things that we did not see in our basic uh, tutorial series. So let's go and start writing or creating our KB file. Uh, basically, you need to create it as a SAM empty file and not the Py not a Py Python file. And also remember that you have created the entry point, uh, which is going to be the class that is inheriting the app uh, class, right? Which is this class basically here. So we need to create the KV file without the app word. So basically it should be file.kv. Now, if you have created an application or if you're starting your app class as basically file chooser app, right? You need to be creating your KV as file chooser.kv. If you are creating it as a file a system app, you need to be creating your KV file as file system.kv. So you remember that you should always have the app word as part of this class and also remove that app word and create the KV file without that. So this is going to be the basic and I don't think that I didn't explain all of those things to you guys. So let's move on to the KV file because we're going to be creating creating our basic uh, things from the KV file right here. All right, so time to look at the KV file. And first thing we're going to you do is the uh, point to the file chooser, which is going to be our layout. So this is going to be our layout, right? I've written file chooser here, file chooser here. Uh, file chooser is going to be my box layout, or I can even name it as file chooser layout if I want to, but let's leave it as file chooser. The file chooser is already inheriting a box layout. So first thing I'm going to do is go inside that and do a tab space, right? And do a tab space and write box layout. Inside the box layout, we are going to be making use of the file chooser icon view. So if you want to know what the available file choosers layout available, let's do a simple UIX and file chooser class. And you can see that you have file chooser list view available. You have file chooser icon view available. And these are basically two things where you will be seeing the file uh, system itself. Now I'm going to be making use of the file chooser uh, list view because it's one below the other. I have few things to show in that as well. So let's go ahead and start right uh, making use of the file chooser list view. You don't have to do any import in your Python. So obviously you guys will know by this time and uh, what we're going to do is that inside this we're going to say on selection and i'm saying on selection i want you to fire something wherein i can get the file name so what does on selection do it is when the the uh, directory is clicked let's say there's a file system and when the directory is clicked i want to take out the path or the file name and using that file name i'll be finding when was it last created so that's going to be the logic right so i'm going to say on selection i need to fire a method that is inside my main.py's file chooser class and that should be possibly uh, giving me the answer for things so inside this file chooser let's go ahead and create our first method that I'll say file fire select. Don't forget the args. 
and all i'm going to say is that when this method is called i just need you to print the args value for me let's say this is going to be the very simplest things i can i i do really want from this so how do you call this fire file fire select method inside your kb file in order to do that you just have to say root dot or uh, you're going to just say file fire select and just you know pass the args inside it so basically this kv file automatically take care of uh, it will on selection it will automatically fire the file fire select and we should be probably seeing some kind of things on the ui now let's run this application for now uh, and just expect this to print something here so let's go ahead and run this application and we will see for us what is happening right probably here so awesome so i have the file system showing voila we already have it and i want you or i want to choose the file system right let's go inside users this is my name i want you to go inside uh, probably desktop and let's say i want to choose this one or this one right awesome right so it's printing the argument here an argument is that the first is going to be some kind of an object the second is one is what i'm very very interested in i want i want this location here or this entire file path using which i can find the size of the file and things like that so what exactly i require is that the file selected is equal to args of it's going to be the first one or the second in the uh, uh, in the index and i'm just going to choose zero off meaning that i want to choose this one and this being an array itself i want to choose the zero array which is going to be this value so the file file selected is going to be this value and now from here on i can uh, print the uh, data whatever i want the data so for that i'm going to be making use of the pathlib library which is available as part of python itself so i'm just going to say from pathlib uh, import the path which is a very very famous one uh, hopefully I, all of you guys know and also one more thing i want to go make use of is the date time library so date time is going to be the one where uh, you will get the exact date or you can convert the epoch time into date i'll talk about right now let's go and import the date time as well and we have the path created so what we're going to do is go here and say uh, date or uh, created date is equal to path of the file selected and we can say uh, dot stat dot the stat is going to have the sta time which is what we require so the created date is an epoch right let's this is going to be an epoch meaning that it's going to be in unix uh, uh, numbering system or unique time system now i need to convert into human readable date time that's where the date time comes into the picture so i'm just going to say date time dot date time I'm just going to date time, date time dot from timestamp. This is all going to be epoch timestamp. I'm just going to say create epoch timestamp dot. Uh, probably I'll have uh, the timestamp itself, or let's say let's print this entire thing, right? I want to print this entire thing. Now I will run this application again. Let's see what happens. Um, probably this one should work right usefully. Admin, I'll go back to my desktop. I'll try to choose probably this one. Awesome, right? So it's printing when this was last created. Awesome. So this is printing when was this was last create last created, and what else is required? I just need now to probably put this inside a label of sorts, and if I put it inside a label of sorts, it just it'll show somewhere down here, and it'll choose to be a very useful uh, function or it'll be a very good application if I do that. Now all I need to do is go back to my KV file, and the KV file is going to be uh, hosting all the widgets and things like that. I'll go back to my KV file and edit it a little bit so that it looks a little bit visually appealing. So I already have the box layout created. What else I need to do is now to go and add inside my file chooser. I'm going to be adding a label, and in the label, I'm going to say uh, ID this label, or just um, maybe I want it to be identified as the label ID. So that's going to be the ID. I'll say where it is going to be useful. Just go up here and say that the file chooser or the box layout is going to have now a label. So when you do this, I hope you guys already know what is the use of this. Um, this is going to be similar to add widget of method. So it will basically go and add the label here. And uh, the label is now going to obviously have some color. Let's maybe give it some color. I'll say probably canvas dot before and i'm going to be adding the color as uh, rgb and i'll say point one comma point five comma point four all right so this is done and i also want it to be rectangle in shape so i don't want it to be some funky size just say pause is self dot pause 
size is self dot size all right so this is going to be the label created i want to or want to add, uh, maybe change the color of the file chooser as well a little bit so let's go inside the file chooser and i'll just change it change the canvas a little bit again canvas is going to be canvas dot before is going to be uh, color and the color is going to be uh, obviously rgb um, point four point two point five i don't know i'm just giving some random number let's see what happens um let's fire this entire thing up stop and rerun and we'll see all right so now <coughs> this entire thing has come in uh, probably this manner what do you need to correct it is just go to your file chooser and set the orientation inside this file chooser to probably vertical so that will probably set it to one below the other which is what i'm expecting expecting orientation spelling is probably right yes and i need to be vertical all right i'll save it i'll run it again awesome so this is where my file system is it's a little bit bigger than what i expected it to be and uh, when i just go inside my user i go inside my birth which is my name where is my desktop uh, yeah desktop is here i go inside this one all right it's printing here but i just need to now go ahead and add the value so what i will do is just go inside my um, main.py file and inside my main.py file i already have the access or i already have the label uh, as id as label right so i'll just go and say self dot label dot uh, set this value basically set this value or the text of this value to this number i'll remove this and uh, we are done with this application probably we can change the kv a little bit uh, we can just say the size is going to be again uh, i adhere to the size of the entire kv file don't make it too big for me so i can just maybe change the size of the file chooser to be of this size i have to change the rectangle similar to what we did down below uh, pause is going to be self dot pause and uh, size is going to be self dot size all right let's fire this up let's see how this looks like i'm not really sure okay i mean size is not changing probably i don't know all right i'm going to go ahead and change the size of this label label is too big for me right it's obviously box layout is one above the other but the label is too big for me so i'm just going to say size hint uh, just the y alone size hint of y alone which is going to be the height uh, i want to keep it to point 0.1 so let's fire this up again so that the size is going to be lesser awesome right the color has changed uh probably this one is a little bit odd um probably i need to set it to point 0.2 all right much better um the color is a little bit again order because i have these pause and size and all right so this is better much better than what we saw so the color is going to be purple for the entire application and when i go inside the users and i go and sit bharat which is my name and i go to the desktop and i choose this one oh it's throwing an error it says accepts only string oh i made a mistake i need to do string off here and that's the mistake so i just can just say string off and i will say uh, this file was created on or at all right run it again my mistake users of dark stop okay this is this file was created at awesome right probably this was a useful application for somebody out there who's trying to integrate this file chooser module i did play around with kiwi as well as uh, the file.kiwi as well as the Py main pi or the python file uh, we did do a few things additionally uh, probably callbacks between kv file and the kv lang as well as the python so that's how useful how how fast you can create something uh, with respect to the uix uh, the uix holds the file chooser icon view a fine file chooser list view so hopefully you guys can find it useful if you find it found it useful you know what to do smash that like button down below and probably subscribe to the channel because in upcoming videos i'm going to be taking you through few other complex things that you can do with kiwi uh, let me meet you guys there until then bharat peace out have a super awesome day